everyone and welcome back to the Lightning Clan YouTube channel. I am Danny, as you probably know from the first video that went up two days ago on the channel. Go and watch that if you haven't watched this one already. But today I'm bringing you a gameplay that I recorded uh, two days ago or yesterday, I'm not really sure. But it is a gameplay with the MAA-7. Now the MAA-7, it's a brilliant assault rifle, four round burst. In my opinion, could be, could be potentially one of the best assault rifles in Black Ops 3. You know, it's getting, getting brilliant four round burst kill sometimes but other times it can be quite inconsistent you know you might only get one but what two bullets of a burst on someone but it's still a brilliant assault rifle the only downside about the assault rifle is you unlock it at level 55 and if you don't know what that means is that it's the level before you prestige which is quite unfortunate so for all you low level players you'll have to be grinding a little bit just to get to that level now today with on the m8 a7 class up i've got the uh, perks perk one i'm using flat jacket because nades are really good on this game i'm using them using it on my class today you know they get me a couple of kills in this game later i do believe or just some couple of hit markers i'm using stuns on the class stuns are really good in this game i'd say slightly overpowered uh they can probably stun you for about i'd say 10 seconds which is quite a long time in the game perk 2 i've got on is scavenger which will replenish my ammo as long as well as the concussions and nades brilliant uh perk because uh, replenishing ammo you can go you can get high streaks with it and the uh, perk 3 i'm using tactical mask to prevent those stuns as i was mentioning before how good the stuns are in this game now as you can see on my score streaks over the uav probably one of the most common streaks in the game but probably one of the most effective i've got the cerberus which uh, if you don't know what the cerberus is i believe it's a 900 point score streak it's similar to the agr of black ops 2 roams around like as a robot on the map gets you a couple of kills but it's mainly like a, a tank unit so as it's absorbing bullets you can kill the people who are trying to shoot it uh we've also got the uh sight specialist on today i believe i was using it in the last video i've whipped it out here you can see how i'm absolutely melting people across the middle of the map on the b flag and uh sight brilliant specialist for pup stomping in my opinion now more about the gameplay itself we're playing on aquarium once again last gameplay was actually on aquarium i'm going to try and make sure for the next for the next uh, gameplay that is not on aquarium but i did manage to get a different game for game mode for you today guys it is domination most people will know what the domination game mode is all about it's got three flags a c flag a b flag and an a flag two it's a 12 man uh, game six two teams of six once one team spawns at the c flag one team spawns at the a flag and it's basically a fight for the b flag all along now the spawns can flip in this game uh quite constantly if you push the enemy team's flag but you'll learn about this all when you play it yourself now more on to the gameplay aspects of things i've got the wraps once again you probably saw them in the last gameplay uh brilliant score streak as i did mention but they can be quite inconsistent but here's another uh another gameplay of them go absolutely going off for me i mean i'm probably getting quite lucky because people on the enemy team can be using perch such as flak jacket which if you explode the raps it doesn't really kill you but i think raps are still good and cerberus kill again there which is a very important very important kill considering i just did get burned by the purifier purifier is actually a specialist uh purifier is the specialist weapon for i believe it is firebreak yes firebreak uh good good specialist don't really personally use him too much but i've been killed by the firebreak specialist quite a lot of times but uh, as i was saying the streaks the wraps i've got another set of wraps and uh, basically what the gameplay is is uh, me just rallying the streaks which is brilliant because uh i mean i'm just constantly getting kills and i forgot to mention at the start of the video this was a solid 8kd gameplay i believe it was 56 and 7 it took me a long time to get this gameplay but it's all worth it because you guys are gonna watch it now i'm coming up to the end of the round so i will see you guys in the second half of the video that's how we do it. Get ready for the next round.
Into the second half of this domination match on Aquarium. I'm using the MAA7 again in this half just because of how beastly it was going in for me in the first round. And now if you can see in the score sheet, but I have another pair of wraps which I actually saved from the last round. Now this is a very good tip for all you uh, players that probably don't know this. If you get a score streak in the round before, you can save it and call it in in the next round, which is good because if you call a score streak such as the race in at say 93 points into the third into the first half then there's only seven points left that's probably about 20 seconds left which should only probably if you're lucky your rate is only going to get about once once two kills which is quite unfortunate and make sure you always look when you get a score sheet make sure you look at the time and the score and the gameplay now more focusing off the gameplay and more about the channel a little bit more i did was discussing the channel in the first video uh, go and watch that video if you want to uh Brilliant gameplay. I think it was the best spot on this map again, but it was kill confirmed. But uh, more about the channel. Uh, we are in, in Lightning Clan. Uh, we're not sure what to upload. Like, if you if you guys just want Call of Duty play gameplay or you might want other gameplay, if you have any suggestions, please comment them down below because it'll help us a lot. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see that content because uh, we're going to be trying to upload daily. I did miss yesterday, but that was because of some uh, complications and uh, I couldn't get the video ready. But I do have it back for today, uh, which means that uh, you guys are going to get to enjoy some more gameplay. Uh, also in the gameplay... Uh, I was, this is a quite controversial topic, and it's uh, about the gun I'm using, which is the MAA7. Now, the MAA7, brilliant gun, but one thing about it is people, some, most people don't like using a sight on it. No, most, most people like using the sight on it. Uh, like the reflex sight or the ELO sight, both brilliant sights. ELO, I uh, probably fit ELO better just because uh, it's more clear and you can see the enemies better through it. Uh, now, just because uh, I like the ELO sight more doesn't mean I don't use the reflex. Both in the good sights. But uh, in this gameplay, I actually did decide against using a sight. And this was the first gameplay I actually did this. Now, I did find this uh, very good, as you can tell from the score. I did go 56 and 7. So uh, if, you if you guys are struggling with the MAA7, you might want to try and take it off just for one round. I know the people find the iron sights quite bulky. Uh, it's kind of hard to see through them. But per when you start using them in game, they're actually really accurate, uh, in my opinion, which uh, could be a useful tip for you guys out there. But uh, I haven't really got much else to say about the gameplay. I just want, I just want to let you guys watch and enjoy. Uh, remember, I have been Danny, Lightning, Lightning Clan YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. See you guys later. Yeah. 